Everybody ready? I'm Mark Gwynn, the director of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. I um, just want to say that uh, the only new information that we have today is that Governor Haslam has increased the reward by $50,000. Can you speak up? Please. Governor Haslam uh, has increased the reward by $50,000 for the arrest and conviction. Uh, there's $25,000. Uh, out there, you know, for any uh, information uh, regarding the whereabouts of uh, a total of $75,000. Uh, Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency has uh, deployed their site imaging technology on the area waterways uh, to see if we can develop some leads that way. Law enforcement is canvassing all the neighborhoods and the volunteers are searching up at the Natchez Trace right now. Uh, we're just hoping that uh, with all of this combined and getting the neighborhood and, and the community active in this search, that we'll be able to turn uh, some type of lead that will help us uh, in the disappearance of Holly Bobo. That, this time I will answer any questions. Do you have a person of interest? We do not have a person of interest uh, right at this time. Um, we're still analyzing all the evidence. Um, at this time, we're not really going to talk about what we have completed and what we have not. Uh, but we are still in the process of analyzing some of that, some of that evidence. What other items uh, evidence have been besides the uh, lunch pail and the blood across? Well, once again, we don't want to talk about all the evidence. We know there was a lunch pail. We know there was blood. Uh, and some of the evidence, uh, for, for investigative purposes, we just can't uh, put out right now. Are they personal items? of Holly's? And some of it has to be analyzed to see just in fact if it belonged to Holly. As you know, when you do a search out on a roadside or whatever, uh, there's a lot of evidence gathered and you have to do analysis just to make sure you can link it uh, to, to the person. So that's what we're trying to do is figure out exactly what may be linked to Holly and what, what's not. Hey, Mr. Gwynn, do you believe that Holly's still within state lines at this point and are, where, where do the federal agencies, the FBI, fit into this now? turn up leads. Uh, if there happens to be leads that are, that are not within the state of Tennessee, then they're available here. All the federal agencies to follow those leads up. So, but to this date, uh, we haven't gone beyond the state lines to. That's good. Have y'all expanded the search anymore, or decreased, kind of, how, how big is the search? Well, obviously, the, the, the volunteers are up to the edge of And we're at a point now where we just must follow the leads and let the investigation go where the leads take. We don't know what the next lead will be that, that will come in. It may be in state, it may be out. Of state. We'll follow that lead. How frustrating? I'm really not positive that the investigators or volunteers found the last one. Mr. Quinn, how frustrating is this because it, we're almost five days plausible leads and, and trails here? Well, from, a, from an investigative standpoint, it, 10 minutes, but realistically, that doesn't happen. But as leads keep coming in, as we keep, uh, the, the, the volunteers keep searching, you never know what we're going to turn up in the next five minutes. And that's where your hope is. Right? There's a family out here that needs closure, and, and it's up to us to try and give it to them. You asked for information from the public about people who may have missed work last Wednesday or excessively cleaned their vehicle or ATV. Have you received any information back about that? You know, we've, we've received information or leads. Um, Obviously, we feel like that the person that's responsible for Holly Bobo's disappearance lives in this area just because of the terrain and, and, and where she was abducted from. You would have to know um, where you were going, the entrances, the exits, in, in order to, to do this. So, the person is right here in the community. We're asking for the community that if you know of anybody that just has changed their routine since Wednesday or, or, or anything like that, please let us know. That's the type of, of information today that may help us solve this case. Any kind of physical description at all? We don't. As you know, um, right now um, we have one eyewitness, and that's uh, Holly's brother, uh, and he was not able to give us a description of the, of the person.
Mr. Irwin, has your agency been able to uh, associate any kind of profile of this abductor? Um, I think the FBI has done uh, a type of profile on the person, and I would have to refer you to them. Okay, to thank you. What about, we're hearing a lot of rumors cir circulating around town, even specific names getting thrown out. How much does that um, hinder or hurt the investigation? Well, it's our job to stay focused. Uh, we're going to run every lead uh, to the very end. If it pans out that it's something credible, then we'll go with that. If it's not, we'll obviously dismiss it. Uh, we don't deal with rumors. We know that there are going to be rumors um, in any type of investigation that this that is this massive, uh, and, and we understand that. This is not the first time we've conducted these types of investigations. Uh, what we must do is stay focused. We, we go on facts, not rumors. How many leads are you following now? You said like 200 before? We're, we're, we're over, well over 200. So. You know, the leads are coming in, and, and, and that's, uh, that's good. As long as leads come in, we're going to be here. We're going to follow them to the finish. Um, and, and the next lead may be the one we need. The first stories that were told about how this happened, as far as direction they were going. <laughs> I don't think there's been any any changes um, that would lead us in a different direction. Um, you know, anytime we were dealing with witnesses and people with information, uh, they may come back and, and just forget a piece of information or something like that. But I don't think there's been any major change that would have us going in a different direction. I've been there uh, on the road, and, and either one of them uh, would have access uh, uh, on that particular road. You could go in with any type of vehicle, be it a car or ATV. What road are you talking about? The, the roads that are near the, the wooded area. Where she... Is there a road behind the people traveling through the wood? Yes, they could have found some, some road area that, that an ATV or, or a regular vehicle could have accessed. Back, you're talking all about a cell phone. We heard that um, you know you guys had a ping recently off of a cell phone. I can't get it. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll update you as needed.